So I'm going to demonstrate how to do a deep dermal then a subcuticular closure. This is a 3 0 micro. We're going to do a deep dermal layer first. So we're going to go from deep to superficial right at the dermal epidermal junction on one side. I'm going to pull on the corner to match up on the other where I had to go on the other side, which is right there. I'm going to go some superficial to deep. Have her cut right on the knot because this will be a buried knot, buried suture. So this is a one-handed tie. See, I'm giving myself tension so I can see the, the target. the two-handed tie. Oh. Jesus Christ. Just keep doing a 55 second clip since you messed up already. Okay, now we're gonna do the subparticular closure. The way I like to start is at the corner with a backhanded needle. So I go deep to superficial right at the corner. This is a floral monocle I'm using. I don't know if it's visible on the camera, but I'm tie it down. Cut one end right at the knot without the needle. And same thing, deep to superficial again to dunk the knot. And go from right at the dermal, epidermal junction, starting at the corner. to take small bites at the corner and then get more aggressive later. And I'll have my assistant pull to give myself some tension so I can see where to go. A lot of techniques you can use to become more efficient, such as loading the needle right here and getting ready to go for the next throw right away. Always pull tension so you're not loose anywhere and have a big gaping hole when you're done.
because somebody cut the knot off there. It's fine. Nothing to worry about. And then to finish the subcuticular stitch, we put a little loop. Bring the loop, loop it three times to form a knot. Bring the needle through the loop one more time to secure the knot, and this will lock the knot. And then you bury the knot by going at the corner without cutting the stitch, and then bring it out through the skin. That's your subcuticular closure, and I put German bond on it. <laughs>